In today's video, we want to go into the targeting option Facebook is leaving us and has concised everything a little bit deeper. So you will see a lot of people fleeing away from Facebook, but this could be the chance for you to get in and get your jumpstart. If we have not been formally introduced, my name is Annette Block. We make marketing simple. We stay take uh, complicated strategies and conform them into simple step-by-step -step action so you can follow them along. Today, I want to go a little bit into Facebook started to reduce targeting option abroad all <clears throat> categories. So that means now they are taking away more targeting options. We all was used to it. And now it is very important that you do and did your videos you can now use to build your own audiences. Even if Facebook did take away those targeting options, you are still able and comfortable build your own audiences within Facebook, not actually needing all together those targeting options Facebook is giving us. So when you know Facebook started with the iOS 14 changes, so there was already something where we couldn't target outside to every uh, iOS or the iPhone user who opted out to get targeted by marketing. But Facebook gives us the availability to keep everybody in the platform and now talking to them where they are right here on Facebook. So before we go into, if you are here with me, let me know, let me know if you can hear me. And also, if you have any questions, go ahead. We will answer them as soon as we see them. If it is afterwards, we will come back and certainly answer your question. If you just jumped in with us, we are talking today about Facebook and Facebook audience building, Facebook targeting, because Facebook is continuing due to discrimination claims to take away targeting option to you as a Facebook marketer, as a Facebook advertiser, or just somebody who wants to build their audience within Facebook. So that's why it is very important that you have a strategy in place. And those strategy, the best strategy you can have is a video view campaign where you are able to build your own audiences with in Facebook. So this is very easy to do. But before we do, you want to make sure that you understand your audience you want to speak to. Now it is more than ever important for you to really go into and understand your audience what they are liking, what are they reading, where are they shopping, what do they wear, where they feel comfortable, what they are driving. So there are certain things where you now can go deep, deep in, and instead of using those broad targeting, you still are able to target people and their interests. So employment almost is gone all the job title is gone, the employee section is gone, and especially in real estate, what we did, we did before target all the nurses and healthcare. Now that is no longer possible, there is only a wide range, and now you need to understand when you are serving nurses or firefighters, what is their like, what are they liking? What the, is their interest? Where are they interested in? So that is very important because now, based on those interests, you still are able to target. You are not able to target, um, for instance, every realtor, NAR, is gone away. You cannot go in and target any um, member of the National Association of Realtors. Those is no longer available to us here. 
and that gives us a different viewpoint and now you need to look in who you serve what they like what they drive so that you can be on target based interest so let me show you what i mean i opened already a screen for you guys so that we can go in and we can build it together, especially when you have built already your audiences and you didn't change them since the iOS 14 update, we highly would recommend you delete all those audiences and start building them new up because now you get better data and Facebook is telling you, no, you cannot use this audience anymore. And what do I mean by that? Let me go right in here and share my screen. And that is exactly what we mean. I am here in audience building and Facebook tells me that the audience of National Association of Realtors is no longer available. So what you want to do, and we started as well over with all our audience building right here in the audience builder. That is very easy to do. You go into your business manager and now you go here on the three little lines on the hamburger we say, and now you go into your audience building up here and here you can stop your audience building when you start you most likely will start out with a cold audience this is nobody knows you nobody heard of you before so they just get starting to know you when you import lists or if you target or retarget people who visit your website people who visit your facebook page instagram account or interacted in different direction now you are able to create those audiences what we have done and you see here we have rebuilt all our custom audience during the past couple of days because it is restricted especially in real estate and healthcare we are no longer able but i am able to build by interest so let's go in and let's build an audience where we just easily go in create an audience in this case i will do a special a custom audience a custom audience for me is people maybe who watched my video maybe who visit our website we have an instagram account we do have facebook events facebook listing so you have different options you can upload your customer list but if you got your customer list from somewhere such as red x or for sale by owner those are called people you probably bought or got with your subscription to red x and when you upload this data this is not a, a warm audience this is a cold audience so we are using those audiences in here when we want to use warm audience we are going off the website visitors video views we could go into lead forms who opened our lead forms who signed up on our lead forms so there are different sections available but we also can go after our facebook pages and it's depending how big your audience is if you just started building out your audiences probably i would go back 365 days so that i can get all the people in my audience everybody who interacted somehow with me so here we will build a video view campaign where we now have the ability to target people who watched our videos so we can change that so that is possible up to 365 days and now i can choose the video time they are watching and building up my audience this way it's depending how long your videos are probably you start out maybe with one minute video we would recommend 
especially when you are going deeper into audience building, that you are maybe building audience around 25 to 50 percent watched your video before you want to put something in front of them so that they buy or sell with you. So that is where we are able to build a three second audience. Usually what we do, we are going into true play, meaning that somebody at least watched 15 seconds of our video. So here we can create that audience. Who play here. And now we pull the videos in we want to pull in. So here we are going into our page. I now could watch everybody who watched our video. So that would be a good audience size because this is organic 6,724 views of that video. And certainly we can build an audience around it where I now maybe would go video view um, avatar. And now we could go into everybody who watched that avatar for three seconds. So I would say it's a warm audience. And I would put the video sequence in it because we are building our audiences on of video sequences and so foregoing the targeting with Facebook. When you are building out your audiences and you have no data point, you need to go into saved audiences and now you are able to stop at least with a broad audience and now put one video in front of them and now collect the data on it, put them in a custom audience. And now you speak to people who saw you already once or twice, who saw your videos, and now you are no longer um, uh, dependent on Facebook's um, interest. So here, let's go into interest where we can browse especially we in real estate, we had a nurse program. So you see nothing is coming big up. There are no job titles anymore. There are no employees anymore. So you have an interest base on nurse education, but now think about what are they interested in? Maybe on medical supplies, medicine, so now you have to go down and really, really understand your custom uh, or your audience you want to attract. If you are searching for first time home buyer, now you, let's see, homes.com is no longer coming up. They took this away. You see first time. Buyer. Yes, you are lucky. There are still first time buyers in here. So you can build your first cold audience of, of who is interested as a first time buyer, maybe who is interested in first time home buyer grants. So we could gay go as a first time home buyer. I do have an audience from six to seven million. And then I could additional say, everybody who is interested in first time home buyer rents. Let's see if it So now you are boiling down your audience from 7 million to 1.9 million. So I would change the area over here. I would probably change language if you can. So keep in mind, if you are talking to special house category, which is housing in there, meaning you need to build your audience broad very first 
and cannot go too deep into audience targeting only when you are putting and starting to create your audience with videos. So Facebook is really, really heavy on it. We just got an ad rejected. First, it was approved. Now, for some reason, they say it is the special housing category, even so it has nothing to do with special housing category. So we are sending this in for review. So you need now to understand who you talk to, who is your ideal client and what is their interest, because honestly, I think even all the targeting option and maybe even the pixel will go away. So we are right now working with API keys so that we get the information from the data which we have in our CRMs. But to forego for now and make it easy for you, when you want to start out, Facebook is still a great platform, especially now. Everybody who doesn't know how Facebook works will go over to YouTube, TikTok, and all the additional platforms because they don't understand or they say Facebook doesn't work. Facebook is still working. Facebook is where the people are in my audience. So you also need to understand are the people you want to reach or they on Facebook. Yes, my audience is on Facebook. They are not so much on Instagram. My area is people between 35 and 55 years old, and they are not on Instagram. They are right here on Facebook and a little bit on LinkedIn. Not too much, but Facebook is still the bigger platform. Yes, TikTok and everything. But when you understand Facebook, because all everything what you do on Facebook, the same principle apply when you are taking those and going into different platforms. It is still the easiest platform to learn from, to navigate through. And when you understand the principle in marketing in Facebook, you will understand the principle in all different platforms. So that is my tip for today. So don't get freaked out when you see Facebook did uh, uh, again, took you another um, employee group or an another interest group, targeting group away. We need to work around it. We need to work what we have. And the best thing, and you heard this for many, many years, you should do the videos because you can get a video view for one cent. It can almost not get cheaper than one cent. So make sure that you have some videos. They don't need to be everyday new videos. You can repurpose them because there will always be coming new people into your pipeline, onto your Facebook page, because your Facebook page is not built for the customer they are on, but for the customer, the new customer, who is checking you out, what you are offering, how your service, how you can help them buying or selling a home or whatever you are doing. So make sure that you understand and don't work all over the platform or all over the city as you know, if you were, if you are anywhere and everywhere, you will end up nowhere. So the riches are in the niches. You want to make sure that you understand your niche, 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 however you want to pronounce it. And now you want to understand your customer, what they like, what their interests are. Where, what they are driving, where they are shopping, what they are reading, which pages they are following. So that is still some interest you can get in Facebook and then build your audience around it and then let them know that you are the one who can best serve them. Right now in all platforms all over, it is the presence that is required if you want to stay in business. 
you heard about omnipresence so that people can see you all over. And again, you can use different platform, but you want to start out on one first so that you understand the principles and then spread up slowly. That is very important. So stay in your lane, stay in your niche. So make sure that people get to know you so that you can direct the traffic where you want the traffic to go. Very easy. And that is one thing we are not worried about because Facebook took away more uh, touch points in targeting. We are not worried about the pixel. Honestly, I think the pixel will go away at some point. So we are not worried about the pixel, but we are focused on building our presence on Facebook. And then when we have built out our presence on Facebook and it rolls like almost by itself, now you can jump over and stop adding a new platform. You shouldn't stop on what platform. You need to still run the one platform and then go to a platform where you know that other costumers are hanging out. Again, still people are hanging out on Facebook. They're starting early on to go to Facebook. They get to know you. And now when they are seeing you on YouTube or on LinkedIn or on TikTok, they will remember you when you are constantly staying in front of your audience. And you can do this very easily through audience building, which we just did today, where we have gone into audience building. We just, in our own business, restarted everything, a clean slate, because in our old audiences, sometimes they didn't work because of the iOS 14 changes. But now Facebook was telling us that audience doesn't exist anymore. And this targeting option is not available anymore. That's why we made a decision. We made a clean slate and start building new audiences broader. And now to video view marketing now we are going down within our targeting where we are starting out with a cold audience we let them know who we are and what we do then we are going into detailed more videos so telling them hey when you watch that video now they will see a different video and so on and so on so there is a whole strategy behind it but before you can do easy, affordable, one cent video marketing, you need to do the videos. You don't need to be in it, which we but highly recommend, but you can create videos in form of slideshows. You can create video tutorials. Make sure that somehow your face is in there so that people stop to recognize you and people get to know you and not your, your pictures so that they don't even know at the end who presented those little slideshow. So make sure that you are in it. The best thing are videos where you are in in person. And if you are still afraid, yes, for the beginning, put together videos as a slideshow, that is okay too, but start learning, get comfortable on video because that is still the easiest form for you to build traffic, for you to build your audience and stay in front of the right people that want to buy or sell in their market. It's all about omnipresence. Does people get to know, like, and trust you? And you need a campaign behind it. And that's where you start with your videos if you do them. So that is mine for today. So no worries. Yes, Facebook took away a lot of targeting options. 
You don't need to worry if you have a campaign in place where you now can build your own audiences and only in the first or for the first time you are depending on Facebook targeting, but then when you build your core audience, there is no worries about anymore the targeting because you will use your videos where you can build your audience with your videos. So my homework for you today, if you want to take a look into it, go into your business manager, business.facebook.com, start building out your audience. I don't build out audiences in my ads manager. So when I'm running the ad, our business or our audiences are already built up. I have some thinking about it. I know what they like. I know where they hang out. I know the pages they are following so that I can tap into the interest targeting Facebook makes available to me. And now I am able to put the right content in front with videos, warming them up so that people get to know, like, and trust me. If you have any question, let me know. We also, when you are afraid of videos, we did a video tutorial and I will put it up above the video, depending, I hope it is above, so that you are able I show you step by step how we do a slideshow, how we did a quick tutorial for our avatar. And now you are able to follow along, build your little video slideshow, and you are ready to go to bring out your first videos. Don't um, dismiss Facebook. Facebook stated they will be the biggest or want to be a video streaming platform and they are working hot on it because you saw the reels are coming in, shoots are coming in. So they do a lot and they rely a lot on videos. There, it's no worries about it is what it is. It is how you sound. It is how you look. And if I can do it and have the courage, you definitely can do it too. So get in front of the camera or at least stop building your little video slideshows as a little side tip so that you can stop doing videos. Why I want to uh, tell you, let me quickly show you what I mean by audience building. Because you can see the videos that people watched, that people is a unicorn, so that people liked and now you can build on it. So let me go in here and make sure. So we had the other day a unicorn and now we are building up on it. So, oh, let me share my screen. Yeah, so this is the avatar video we did. So here you can go to the tutorial. I will put that link up there as well, where this is a simple slideshow we did. We put it together in Canva, and now we did a little tutorial how you can change your avatar, which, by the way, are really ugly, the new ones. But it is what it is. The old ones are not coming back. We have to deal with the new ones. And now you see we had around 6,100 views on that video. So let me show you this. Uh, let me go here. It reached 3,000. 500 people and it was viewed over 6,000 times, which tells me that is a good video. So, and now I'm putting some money behind it because I want to amplify what we did organically. Now I want to push it a little bit more on to pay traffic and see how it works out. So you see, we had 6,700 views. So I can go in front of those people who viewed that video and put another video in front of it 
and I build my audience around it with a Facebook where we are now. Let me see if I can find it quickly. Where did we have it? Yeah, you see that video, I now have an audience between 2,700 to 3,200 people. I can now put another video in it. So I know they watched my video 15 seconds in the last 90 days. It is a total of one minute video. That's why I said 15 seconds. So that is a judgment call I am making. If the video is longer, I probably would say 25% of the video. But we are funneling them through steps. And our first step, we reached 2,700, between 2,700 and 3,200 customers. So that is the uh, power of Facebook and the power of video, and you can tap into very easy. It is not expensive. The video views, we started out with two cents. We are now down to one cent, and we will push it through. We will let it run to collect everybody who watched the video 15 seconds, so we can continue to stay in front of those same customers and you can do it too it's easy you can set it up set up your audiences maybe set up like um depending where you are in the process maybe 90 days if you have not uh a lot of audiences in 90 days, maybe push it out to 365 days. So do a video view campaign. If you have videos to all put all your videos of your page into one campaign, and then let's see what comes up and how many saw your video. You could start off with three or 10 seconds, depending where you are, and then build up your audience from there. If you have any question, I am happy to help. Reach out to me so we can go through the steps. Don't forget to go to annetteblock.com slash tutorial. There you will be able to get the tutorial, how to use Canva and set up the slideshow all in Canva and now uh, using a Canva slideshow as a video. It cannot get easier than this so there's no more excuses if you don't want to do videos yourself now use canva and go in there build it up so that you at least have a stop building your audiences so that you are no longer dependent on what facebook is giving you on interest points within the target area as you see we are not worried you don't need to be worried. Just push out your video and everything else will fall to place. So if you have any question, let me know. Otherwise, I will sign off today. Thank you for watching this video. I will be back same time, same place next week. Until then, thanks for watching. Dankeschön and auf Wiedersehen.